Hello, I'm Stuart Bloor. Well, I think I am anyway. It's three o'clock, that's a.m., not p.m. And there's only one thing that can get me up at this time of the day or the night, depending on how you look at it, and that's a fishing trip. If you are of a certain age, you will remember an advertisement many years ago where the man said he liked the company so much, he bought it. Well, last week I fished at Gurn Castle in Flintshire, North Wales. I enjoyed it so much, I'm going back. So, see you at the water's edge in Wales. First cast I've just had a small perch on but uh, unfortunately it's, it's come off. Just a small one though, great sign though isn't it? First, uh, first drop right into the edge just off the, off the side. Hopefully that's a good sign, not losing the fish but having one on within seconds of casting out. Got another, this time I'm going to land it. Just a small one, but a beautifully marked fish. The one thing about the perch in this water is that they have beautiful coloration. Just a tiny one, as I said. They can see lovely, distinctive marks on that perch. Excellent. Give it a kiss. First time I've kissed a Welsh fish, I think. been catching quite a few small perch on the float rod. I've just had my first one on the ledger rod and it's a better fish. I'll need the net for this one. Yes, in the net. Excellent. Beautiful, isn't it? Lovely perch, my favourite fish. The sun's gone in, it's, uh, it's gone overcast. Not that I'm complaining of course, but I've had to put my suit on to keep warm. It's still the middle of March, but still coming out of a, quite a cold winter. Just showing my float rig. I'm fishing a, a two AA waggler there, as you can see, and I've got a a shot either side to hold it and then shot spaced down the line trying to get the bait down fairly quickly I'm fishing about three four feet from the bank and I'm in eight to ten feet of water and right at the very bottom I've got you can see there the size 8 hook and a worm that one's actually a bit mangled <laughs> the perch have had a go at that but I've got a worm on the end there and it's a very simple but hopefully very effective rig. I've found a new friend, male pheasant. He's eating maggots that I'm throwing down. He's coming so close I'm hoping to capture him eating out my hand. Don't know if I will but he's very friendly. I want to take him home. Not to eat by the way. <laughs> Keep as a pet. He's lovely. been catching fish all day long. We're now into the afternoon, mostly smaller ones. But I've just tucked into a, a nicer fish. Perch, of course. Just bring it to the net now. Looks good. Yeah. One on the float rod as well. There it is. Holding it up for the camera. Beautiful looking fish, isn't it? Wonderful. Let's hope there's more of these to come.
the best fish of the day so far and still a couple of hours to go a beautiful Gurn Castle perch I think this one definitely deserves a kiss let's put it back Still an hour to go, but here's the best two fish of the day so far. I didn't bring the pheasant back with me, but I'm home now and this is one of my light Sussex ends, Maisie May. She wants to go down, so there she goes. I had a great time at Gurn Castle. Check out the website. It is, as I've said, available on a, a day ticket, but there's more to Gurn Castle than just perch. In fact, there was some nice carp in there and I am intending to return a little bit later uh, in the spring to fish for the carp. So as they say, watch this space.